With the Minnesota Fighting Vikings casting a wide net to find their next general manager, a lot of drones have asked the question, why not thug life capologist Rob Brzezinski? And there's a couple reasons why he might and might not want the job. We'll get into the thuggish, ruggish Rob. That's right, because Sharia don't like it. I mean, he may not want the job. But background on Robbie B. He got his law degree from the University of Florida. Go Gators. He was with the Dolphins from 93 to 98 as legal counsel as well as working on the salary cap. This is an important era uh, for guys like Rob Brzezinski because in 1992, free agency opened and in 94, the salary cap was introduced. So he's been OG dealing with the salary cap. Jumped to the Vikings in 99 and has been here ever since in a bunch of various roles. Named Executive Vice President of Football Operations in 2014. And some of his notable work, basically every contract and extension the Vikings have had over the last 20 years, Rob's just been all over it. Uh, he was the architect of the Steve Hutchinson poison pill contract in 2006. Woo. Uh, he made Brett Burt Favor's $12 million salary work in 2009, even though the Vikings were hammered up against the salary cap. And the Vikings were able to work out deals with Daniil and Diggs and Barr and Xavier and Linval and Kendricks and Harrison and Thielen, oh my, even while signing Kirk Cousins because of Rob Brzezinski. And as we've said, the Vikings have been in great uh, financial state because of uh, Rob, Robbie B. And also remember, in 2015, the year that Adrian Peterson missed the season for things, he and Ben Dogra got into it, man, at the Combine in Indianapolis. Now, I am down with any exec who's ready to just give it to Ben Dogra, like right in the face. Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, so let's get into why he would and wouldn't do it. Maybe he would because maybe he does see himself sitting in the big chair. Maybe he wants to just rise on up back on the streets. He's never worked in personnel, but he's been around the decision making for nearly 30 years. I'm sure that he's picked up on something, something. Plus, I think that he's smart enough to outsource uh, what he doesn't know uh, to people who do know, etc. And although the path to general manager from capologist is rare, Mike Tannenbaum of the Jets essentially uh, got his way up through the Jets organization, starting as a capologist and became GM. Didn't quite work out, but don't let uh, Tannenbaum hold things against Rob Brzezinski. Now, why he wouldn't do it? I don't think that he would because he has job security. Like He's the best capologist in the league. He's been with the Vikings since 1999. He's survived two uh, owners, Red McCombs, then the Wilfs. He's survived multiple GMs, Tim Donnelly, Denny Green, basically, Fran Foley, Rick Spielman, and the next GM. He survived all the head coaches, Denny, Tice, Chili, Leslie, Zimmer, etc. And he is regarded, like we said, as one of the best, if not the best, in the NFL at his job. He's a contract wizard, contract wizard, and... And the Vikings are always in good cap shape because it's not, and by mean in good cap shape, I don't mean, oh, they have 90 million cap space uh, like the bad teams in the league. Uh, but layering the cap over years, retaining your top tier talent, paying the young guys, uh, but also making sure that you don't have a ton of dead money on older players who aren't going to be forming up to their contracts. That is Rob Brzezinski, man. It is, and uh, only the Vikings could take on Cousins' contract and keep and retain uh, their core of talent. But you know, at a certain point, it's whatever. But would he fly too close to the sun like Icarus and possibly fail as GM? I don't think that he would because it's a lot like Mike Bonchak, who uh, pro football Hall of Fame offensive lineman. He is one of the best offensive line coaches in the game. And for a long time, it's like, oh, why aren't you stepping up? Why aren't you being a coordinator? Why aren't you being a head coach? But he was perfectly fine being an O-line coach. And then eventually he took the Titans head coaching job for three years and fired. Fired. He could have kept his head down, been with the Titans and the Oilers, the organization he's he was with his entire career, but no, he flew too close to the sun and got burned. So I don't know if Rob wants to do that. Uh, also, why are we always trying to Peter Principal people out, just rise to their level of competence? He is in his level of competence right here, man. He, he's the best in the biz, but... Who knows? Uh, but he can sit here and just merely take care of the contracts, uh, not be the guy buying the groceries, but the guy managing the checkbook. So maybe he'll do that. But yeah, I don't think Rob, if Rob really had aspirations to be a GM, I think we would have heard about it by now. And he certainly would have deserved uh, to get a GM interview at some point, including in-house of the Vikings. But nah, I think Robbie B is just perfectly content being the money guy. That's right, man. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Why Rob Brzezinski GM? Question mark? Probably not. I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.